to have, I had to do this today, man. I had to have an emergency press conference. I'm telling you, it's been a good, good day in the land of the ATL land, man. So I'm gonna tell you what just happened today, man. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Before we get to the Falcons talk, we got some breaking news that you don't even know about. Oh, snap, okay, break it on, break it down. The Litnikoff Award was just announced. We got a few finalists, and the winner is Jalen Hyatt. Let's go! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, let's go! Let's go with his height, with his deal, man, with NIL, man. Shout out to Hyatt, man. That, that, so... that brings me no pleasure to say. Oh, I'm let's go! Because I'm a Buckeye fan, so I wanted Marvin Harrison Jr. Shout out to Marvin Harrison Jr., man, but hey, Hyatt, but a Hyatt Hotels, and he broke some good news, man. What a guy, man. What a guy. What a guy, man. And I also, I do remember uh, what we did in class, that little, uh, you know, funny thing that happened in class. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that alone. Let's go ahead and get down to the questions, man. Whew. What about GSHP? What the hell going on, HP? So, uh, there's a little trouble in, in ATL with Trey Young and the, and the coach. <sighs> what, uh, what's your comments on that? My comments is that both sides need to grow up in the situation. Trey Young needs to be the bigger man and at least show up to the game if he's not going to play. But also, Nate McMillan can't tell the star player to come off the bench if you, do, if you want him to play in the game. So both sides do need to take responsibility, but the press conference that Trey Young did was, it, it wasn't a good look. So I do want Trey to act older and not younger. Another follow-up here. Now Trey really has to be that guy. Did you see the news that came out earlier? Dante Murray is sidelined for at least a two. week or two. I mean, it's it's time for uh, the bench guys to uh, start playing, uh, like Jalen Johnson, A.J. Griffin, who I've been raving about, the Holiday Seas, and brothers. They need to play good, too. So it's going to be a, a everybody whole team, but I just need us to sustain. But damn, I'm mad we lost to the Knicks, bro. We normally rule the Knicks, man, but happens but I got somebody who wanna uh, say a couple things too you you probably remember him from trolling me when we lost the, uh, to the pups but let me bring my dog up here man go ahead and say some things appreciate you having me on bro there you go man do your thing bro alright Marcus Merida this message to you get out of Atlanta bro we're paying you 12 million dollars a year to sit on the bench and do nothing bro you're terrible get out of there Desmond your time's here, baby. It's time. Time, time to shine. Yo, we play the bum ass Saints. Shout out, HP. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you gotta go out there and dominate, bro. Dominate! You put Ritter out there, it's three picks, two fumbles. Get ready. No, sir. Stalin right here. Ritter, 320 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. And I second that. And, bro, we're gonna get Pitts more touches. You know, Arthur Smith, you suck. Get Pitts, bro. Uh, I, Yo, it's, I know, bro. I know, bro. I know, bro. I appreciate I, you having me, bro. I appreciate you, yeah, bro. Sure, man. Bro, bro, I know, bro. Desmond Ritter going to go out there looking like the other quarterback the Falcons were targeting in the offseason. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill bro. Who do Chill. you play? Who do y'all play this week? Bengals. Yeah, and Deshaun probably going to throw for less yards than what Mariota did. Hey, I don't care as long as defense shows up like they did last week. Yeah, good point. But at least the Falcons got the dub over them, though. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. I, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so do you have high hopes for Desmond Ritter, though? You know I do. I mean, at least, I mean, realistically, we're coming off a bye week, so at least he can start getting first-team reps and have a legit chance. And look who we, I mean, seriously, we, we play the Saints his first game. Like, to me, I'm not saying that's alley oop. It's a tough game, rivalry game, but... We see what the Saints do in late game situations. They kind of did what we did to them week one. So, I mean, I, I, I like our chances, and I'm willing to uh, bet a little guap, though. He's got a, um, you actually have a bye week. So I, that's what I'm saying. He's got, I, he's got I, bye week to bye, yeah, I, is that, yeah. So, he's going to have a bye week to prepare, and then he's going to step up. We're going to go straight down to New Orleans, and my dog Kyle backing me up in the background. Yes, sir. And we're going to get this dub, man. Yes, Rise sir. up, man. Stand Rise up, man. Let's, Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm not saying making the playoffs, but I just want some spark, dog. Just a little spark, man. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Saints also have a bye week, correct? Yes. Yeah, they do. So that means they have a whole week and a half to watch the highlights of him getting pantsed by Alabama this next week. Yep. 
Emoji, bro. We already beat the poop emojis, bro. So I'm quite content, <laughs> at least with them, bro. But two weeks, I'm ready to see the angst, man. I'm ready. Oh man, he about to kill it right now. Let's go. <laughs> bro, you beat Jacoby Brissett in his third game in a brand new system. I don't want to hear it. And Jacoby Brissett threw for four touchdowns, zero interceptions when he was on the Colts too, when he played against us. So I know what Jacoby do to the Falcons, bro. I I I, I know. But we got him this time when he was on your team. Listen, I'm just going to blame Joe Woods, our defensive coordinator, not being able to switch to run defense when Marcus Mariota went 7 for 21, and he was still lining up in pass defense every play. And Chelsea was going crazy. But hold on. But also, I want to give a shout-out to uh, to the youth uh, youth kids who are playing right now. So I see Red Breeds. Uh, I, oh, my goodness gracious. Today I seen Ty Fly do a... a I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna break it down this break it down how it was I right, happened. 16 16 last play of the game. If they don't score, it goes to overtime. I posted this on my story earlier today. Bro, get the ball, go left, go right, step armor dude. Bro, looking like Reggie Bush, bro, and turn up the field, bro. Matter of fact, you'll see it when I edit it in here, bro. So yeah, man, I got to give some limelight to the kids, man. You know that's what it's all about. But back to Desmond Ritter and Mariota. Um, Arthur Smith, he hasn't did a lot of right things this year. But you did the right thing today, sir. Thank you for putting Desmond Ritter in and making Atlanta Falcons fan at least have some hope that we can have some, some form of passing games. But I read an article, and uh, what's this dude? Hold on. Let me, let me get it right. Let me see this. Let me see, uh, what, what's this guy name who said this? Nick Shook. Nick Shook said that uh, Mariota was having not a terrible, not a terrible year, but just just not up to par. And I think he was being very, very nice, like they could or something. I don't know. They might be related because he wrote a, a pretty nice paper for Mariota. But all I know is that he's going to the left. And Ritter is coming to the forefront. And I see your face looking down over there, Seahawk lover. I see what you're talking about over there. We got your number. We got your number. We know what's going on over there in the Seattle town. I like Gino. I like Gino. But we had to smack him, though. Anything you want to say about that? We're garbage. We're a, we're a fraudulent 7-5. and Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be the Debbie Downer, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with that being said, it was the emergency press conference. We got this thing, man. It's always one love for the kids. Love you, mama. We got this thing, man.